Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab. So first of all, just simply log in to your credentials and once you're done with that, just simply come back over here, wait for a second, click on the checkbox and then just simply click on agree and continue. Now just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number one. Now just simply scroll up and now here you can see this API name. So just simply copy this API name like this way, copy like this and make sure that you do not copy any extra space otherwise you are not able to find this API name in the marketplace. So so just simply copy like this come back over here and just simply search over here like this way now here you can see in the marketplace just simply open this thing new tab and just simply come back over here wait for a second and then just simply click on this enable button over here now it will take a couple of seconds to launch your api meanwhile in the description box of this video i will share one telegram link just simply click on that link and once you click on that link you will get this zip file so just simply download this zip file to your local system like this way and now just simply unzip this like this way now here you can see this folder and inside this folder here you can see all these three files so basically what you do you have to come back over here and then just simply click on this dashboard over here like this way and from here just simply remove this api like this way now here you can see vertex ai just simply open this in new tab and now just simply come back over here now i request you please pay attention over here now here you can see vertex ai studio and here you can see multi model over here just simply click over here like this way then click on this my prompts over here like this way and make sure that this is a task number one so please pay attention then just simply click on this import prompt over here and then click on this browse over here and as i said this is a task number one so that's why what you do just simply click on this folder and from here just simply upload this quick lab task one dot json file just simply upload this like this way click on this open wait for a second and then just simply click on this upload over here like this way wait for a second Second now and here you can see successfully import over here no need to worry about this error okay now we have done with the task number one now what you do just simply click on this language folder over here like this way then just simply click on this my prompts over here like this way and then again click on this import prompt over here now again click on this browse and then just simply upload the task number two file this one then click on this open like this and then just simply click on this upload so we have done with the task number two also no need to worry about this error okay again beyond the language Language. again click on this import over here like this way again click on this browse over here and this time we have to upload a quick lab task3.json file like this way click on this open and then just simply click on this upload over here like this way and just for the confirmation if you just simply refresh the page over here here you are able to see this both the files if you are not able to see the file no need to worry because lab take time to upload the files over here meanwhile what do you do if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab and just for the confirmation if you again come back over here and if you just simply refresh over here you will get these files over here for sure and thanks for watching this video if you have any doubts please do let me in the comment section i hope you guys like the way i solve this lab and have a good day guys